Hello YouTube, this is Adam back here. Hey, what is up you guys? It's Adam back here with the Bricks and Mini Face hey, channel. What's going on YouTube? It's Adam back here. Here And today I have another video. This time it is my complete Clone Army Customs collection. This time it is a review of Clone Army Customs Kashyyyk Trooper. This time it is a pretty big Clone Army Customs unboxing. A comparison between old CAC and new CAC. So this is only my second year of doing a CAC Army collection video and I already oh, love it. Then we have Ark... Oh man, I've been wanting this one for a while. Ark Boil. I was actually looking to buy this one individually, but I'm glad I didn't. That one's epic. This one is special because it is not new CAC. It is old CAC. Literally. Like, I've never ever thought I would have gotten my hands yeah, on Yeah, I have a review of five of the new CAC Mando figures. Um, I really, really like all these figures, and I would highly suggest that if you're choosing between getting one clone or one of the Mandos, I would definitely choose one of the Mandos. I'll be reviewing the 2003 Clone Wars series uh, Clone Army Customs Clone Arc Troopers. Another CAC unboxing. Um, so I haven't done one of these in a while, and they recently released a just giant amount of new figures. Know that I should be making a CAC update. Uh, to my collection or like the end of the year update to the collection I guess I should say um, soon so if you guys really want to see that let me know I think I'm up to 240 250 hey what is up YouTube it's Adam back here and today I have another video this time it is my complete clone army customs collection um, as of 2020 uh, this video is coming out 2021 though technically um, but we're just not going to count that day <laughs> that extra day um, but yeah so this is a net gain of 30 figures from last year I believe uh, I have 250 figures um, some new some old some sort of old I guess you could say uh, and I'll explain what I mean by that um, but yeah this has been a long time in the making and I thought I would show you what I meant uh, just with how long it's been just collecting these figures and I think it's amazing what I was able to amass and especially considering some of the older figures just are really really difficult to find and I've been able to get not only that case of eight but some of these ones here too and it's really just been quite a journey and I figured that uh, instead of standing here and going through figures like this, I'll move over to my light box and we'll go legion by legion and I'll explain what some figures are and what the differences are between some slight variations and where most of these figures came from. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know uh, where probably a lot of these came from, but uh, for those of you who are newer, I guess you'll find out. So without further ado, I will begin going through these legion by legion slash color collection all right so i figured we would start off with the coruscant guard and pretty much what are 212th recolors along with the fifth fleet trooper and the shock variants down at the bottom over here so i decided that i would also use these nice stands that i literally never show on camera uh, that normally hold my regular old painted customs but uh, if you are interested in these stands, I don't believe these specific ones are still sold, but um, the uh, you can find variants of these stands uh, by Wicked Brick uh, on Instagram. So if you're interested in all that. Um, but yeah, I figured we would start off just by going through this uh, like combination of legions. I'm basically just filling in however many spots I have available on these stands. So there's gonna be some mixing and matching, but generally these will be complete uh, legion slash color groups uh, slash miscellaneous towards the end. But uh, if we just start up here in the top, we have the phase two variant of the uh, shock trooper along with the phase one over there. That is uh, these, this one right here and this one are both the uh, Commander Fox build of figs and you can see uh, their bodies are pretty much the older public style, which is the same for all the build of figs So yeah um, These ones specifically uh, These three are uh, While that one has a black visor. They're all the same figure. These are actually different and why all the commander foxes are 
separated. Um, these ones are misprinted. Um, you can see there's really not much of a difference, but these were on a deep discount, I believe, like a while ago. Um, and so, yeah, I think that these ones are the misprint because I don't have the white back. But, uh, and that's why I have three of them instead of only one uh, regular Commander Fox. So, yeah. Um, and then down here, we have the uh, 212 inverts. Um, these are pretty much, or not the inverts, the recolors. Uh, so these are pretty much just blue 212 troopers uh, with the 501st recolor. And, uh, you know, I think they look pretty nice, especially with the added cloth. Um, they look really cool. And then up here, we have Commander Thyre. And then this is the regular old uh, Commander Fox. That is the misprinted Galactic Fox, uh, which I don't believe, I think the color's just darker because that is the actual Galactic Fox. And if I take this, I uh, don't mind the official Lego hit piece, but um, just the color in general is darker. So yeah, pretty cool. And then below them, we have Arc Ponds, Arc Stone, uh, just a phase one, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, Red Trooper, and then uh, Commander Thorn. So yeah, and then we have down here the Fifth Fleet Trooper, and then finally um, the Shock Inverts. And uh, these ones all have 360 degree printing. Uh, I don't know why I keep saying inverts. These are the shock recolors uh, with the visors and the cloth pieces. And so, yeah, uh, but those ones along with the fifth fleet. And I think those are the only ones here. Uh, oh, yeah, along with these guys. All have 360 degree printing. I don't think when I round out my collection or when I... I'm going to talk about that later. About how I plan to round out my collection um, in the coming years. But... I don't think that I'm going to necessarily aim to get the 360 degree printed updated versions of each of these figures since, you know, I mean, as I collect more and more, I'll get more 360 degree printed figures, but I'm still going to have the 180 degree printed figures and those are definitely not going to be a priority to upgrade them. Uh, so yeah, just keep that in mind, I guess, as I uh, unbox more CAC in the future. But yeah, that is the Coruscant Guard the 212 recolors, the 5th fleet, and the shock recolors. So uh, next we'll do the wolf pack and the shadow legions. All right, so here is the wolf pack along with the shadow legion, if you want to call it that. Um, but yeah, so here is Commander Wolf, Commander Wolf, Commander Wolf. I know I have three of them. Um, these two are actually a little bit different. These are older prints. You can tell by the positioning of the shoulder pad um, along with the torso just some very slight uh, differentiation along with pretty much the bottom print of the arm I guess um, but yeah uh, so just some slight variation there obviously this cape is worn down pretty pretty uh, well but um, those ones I'm not including in my older prints because those will have their own little section of this video um, just because they're not quite old enough, I guess I would say. Um, but yeah, uh, so then we have Arc Wolf over there. Definitely one of my favorite minifigures. Um, we have Phase 2 Wolf Pack Troopers just right here. And then we have, alright, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Comet. This is Boost, that's Sinker. And then we have a Wolf Pack Jet Trooper. This figure, I really love the Jet Trooper prints in general from CAC. Um, just the visors have a really nice touch to them along with the uh, cloth and definitely another one of my favorite figures has to be the um, commander or the invert um, basically a wolf pack trooper but colored completely opposite um, and I really like the invert and uh, yeah so then we have the phase one wolf pack he has macros and a jet pack and I don't know like I, I know I have a couple of accessories for some of these figures and other ones are just missing them in general um so you'll that'll be a common theme throughout this video as i go through my cac collection sometimes just to steal off accessories that i forgot i didn't have so <laughs> yeah you'll see that but uh then we have two more phase one um 
troopers, mainly just grouped by color. And uh, you can see the difference in the torso and arm print there. I believe I got this one uh, out. I think I intentionally bought this one and then this one came in one of those $20 blind bags. Uh, so yeah, I think I got that on a sale, but uh, this one uh, is relatively new, I think, because uh, I just made a video on it. <laughs> it's the uh, phase one, uh, like Bacara, I guess, style, um, you could say, uh, heavy and it's a shadow variation and I really like these white highlighted areas of all of these shadow prints and these next three are specifically you've probably never seen before in my collection because I just got them for Christmas so here is the 212 shadow the R Trooper shadow which I really really like this guy uh, the these uh, three all have 360 degree prints along with the car figure up there um, I don't know why I keep calling it the Picard figure. It's a heavy. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we have a 212th Phase 1 realistic variant right there. And then I actually have two of these Purge Trooper-esque uh, figures, mainly just Shadow Airborns is what I like to call them because they're not designated Purge Troopers on the site. And as you know, I recently made a video on the actual Purge Troopers that CAC released. But this next figure I actually have two of as well, uh, just different uh accessories on them um yeah so yeah just trying to make some space uh to make sure the shadow legion could fit on the uh, stand with the wolf pack but uh yeah i have two of them they're exactly the same uh just different accessories and i really like the setup that this one has so that is why it is included over the other one and here is probably one of the first figures i ever got um i know i privated the review of it but um this is just the Shadow Trooper <laughs> Phase 2 standard. Um, really cool figure. I, I mean, I fell in love with it when I first saw it, and that is why I got it as one of my first. Um, yeah, and then we have... This is the 501st uh, Shadow Trooper. I'm not sure what cloth this is that I have on it, but I know the, the pauldron, as you can tell, is CAC just because the discolorment. Uh, that is something that happens over time with CAC cloth. But yeah, the print, the shoulder pads are a little bit lower, so you can definitely tell it's an older print. Um, we yeah, a really cool figure. And then we have the 91st Reconnaissance Shadow Trooper. So yeah, you can definitely tell it's just been sitting sitting around in my collection for a while. Uh, do the to the dust um but yeah it's a really cool figure all right um so yeah let's move on to the next set of figures all right so here i guess you could call this the post clone war slash imperial era um collection along with the mando and the one lone bragan core guy down here uh, so yeah um Starting off up here, as I just showed these in my most recent video, I believe. Um, these are the Purge Troopers, newly released. I uh, really like these guys. There is a slight difference in the cloth um, between Commander, Sergeant, and I actually didn't get the third set of cloth, which is just the normal. But uh, yeah, so we have those along with the uh, uh, Clone Assassins, which uh, or I guess, I don't remember exactly what they're called. I think they're just Jedi Hunters, basically, was their role. And then we have the 187th Snowtroopers, the regular Snowtrooper, the Shadow Snowtrooper, which is definitely one of the cooler-looking figures. Um, and then we have what they call the Phase 3 on the site, but basically just Stormtroopers. Um, we have the regular Stormtrooper. We have two Incinerator Stormtroopers, which... Were very cool in the mandalorian uh, if you haven't seen that um the end of season one they appeared and they were amazing <laughs> so yeah then we have the shadow troopers and then we have the vader's fist um uh, stormtrooper and then we have thrawn this originally was a black friday release um and i really really like this guy uh the regular thrawn i think goes for like 60 bucks now so it's definitely a cheaper option and he comes with his original accessory that I got him with uh, which is his little pet so yeah and then we have Django, Boba, Bo-Katan, Pre Vizsla, various uh, prints of the um, of the uh, Darth Maul's uh, 
Death Watch, basically, or Mandos. Uh, you can see the difference in the helmet prints between those two and the difference in the helmet print between that one and the other two. And then we have the one lone Bragan clone trooper, or Bragan core uh, clone trooper that I have. And if you don't know what the Bragan core is, basically just watch some of Solid Brick Studios' old videos and you'll figure it out. Uh, but they're pretty much his old Legion. So, yeah. Um, I guess we can move on to the next set of figs. All right, so here we have the 212th, along with basically what is sort of just the Kashyyyk Troopers. Um, I'm also going to do the 41st later, but I just wanted to separate these guys mainly because they have camo. And then we have down here the 187th. So starting off in the corner again, we have three 212th Troopers. This one is a 212th as well, but this is one of the older variations that's a lighter orange as you can tell in the color difference. And then we have phase one realistic Cody, two phase two commander Cody's, and then we have the 212th airborne, uh, two of the 212th invert commanders, uh, definitely another cool figure, I just really like the inverts. Um, and then we have here the uh, arc boil, and then a regular phase one animated uh, 212 trooper, then we have uh, Arc, or not Arc, uh, we have Boyle and Waxer. Then we have up here a Kashyyyk Trooper. We have Gree. Uh, this is also a Kashyyyk Trooper. I actually have two of these again. Um, just really cool figures. And then we have a misprinted uh, Phase 2 Gree. As you can see, some of the printing is missing. And that is a misprint. I got it on a discount. And then we have two 187 shocks, um, the 187th Airborne, Purple Scuba Monk, uh, his trooper, and then a 187th Realistic Trooper as well. So yeah, really cool figures, and I'd say that I guess we should do the 501st next since we just did the 212th, so uh, yeah. Alright, so here is most of the 501st and I mean most because most of the figures on this display I have multiple of so I'm just gonna um, you know as we go along I'm just gonna say how many are hiding with me behind camera um, and so yeah uh, starting in the top corner uh, we have arc fives and echo and just for reference I believe I have three sets of these uh, guys if I can just get them all we have I think I think that's all of them yeah um, so we have one two so yeah just uh, three and then one extra fives so yeah uh, I definitely have a lot more than I need <laughs> um, and then we have two I actually have another one of these behind the camera as well uh, we have two 501st Invert Commanders. We have uh, two Captain Rexes, as you can see. Uh, one Experimental Echo, one Arc Jesse. This is the 360 degree printed, a uh, very nice figure. Um, it does have my cloth on it, by the way. Um, I do have the original cloth it came with, um, but I do not have the Phase 2 Fives, which is something I realized. This is a Phase 2 Echo helmet, not an Arc Trooper helmet. Um, so yeah, I, that might be a figure that I need to pick up. Um, and then we have the Phase 1 Realistic Heavy Bacara um, variant, I guess you could call it. I, just the Heavy, I don't know why. <laughs> Literally every time I see that helmet, I think of Bacara. Um, and this is actually a Devis Sniper variant of a 501st Trooper, but uh, I figured I'd include it here um, just because I felt like it. <laughs> so yeah, then we have the uh, 501st Heavy and then we have a recon uh, trooper, a visor, and then we have the driver, the 501st driver. Then over here, um, we have Jesse, Hardcase, Apo, Dogma, Tup, Kicks, um, a regular 501st trooper, which I mean, I could name how many of each of these I have behind the camera, but uh, there's a lot. I think there's at least nine or so. Then we have a different variant i believe it's just this helmet put on this guy but i think he's listed on the site so um yeah there is just this bluefin 501st trooper um then this is the older 2013 ish uh print uh just lower shoulder pads 
uh, no black line on the visor, basically the original uh, print run. And then this is the animated 501st, um, and then we have the realistic 501st with this uh, cape I added. Um, I really like this guy. <laughs> and then I just have a slight uh, differentiation I wanted to show with Apo, if I can grab him. Uh, this one on the left is an older print. Uh, I just think it's interesting how some of the prints, the visors change, and you can definitely tell it's an older print as well because the lowering of the shoulder pads. So, yeah, uh, I think I switched the position on those. It doesn't really matter, but um, yeah, and then just for reference, uh, many of these figures I do have duplicates of, as I said, and that pile includes pretty much all of these along with this, if I can get them. I do have another one of these guys, which is really cool. I really like the older prints as well, um, as you can tell probably from my previous videos, but yeah, I have all of these guys as well um, that are duplicates of pretty much everybody on this right side over here. So yeah, um, that is the 501st, definitely the biggest collection um, or biggest legion out of all the like different colors and legions I have. So uh, yeah, I guess we can move on to the commandos and what I do have of the um, gray variant, I guess you wanna call it, or the Camino color. Basically I'm grouping those together, so yeah. All right, so here is all of the commandos that I have along with pretty much what's the Camino uh, and matchstick and uh, some other ones. So starting over in the corner, um, here is three out of the four of Hope Squad. I'm only missing the orange one, which I still need to get. Um, and yeah, then we have uh, three out of the four Omega. I'm not sure why I only have three out of four of each of these, but um, I just must have bought them while they were on sale. I think that's why I bought Hope was because only three or so, I think, were on sale. I think the fourth one is out of stock, so maybe that explains it. Uh, I just kind of jogged my own memory. Um, but yeah, then we got the Metallic Commando, Pink Commando. Uh, this is from the Squad Pack Awa, I think is how you pronounce it. It's A-I-W-H-A. And this is Sarge. And then these are the two special ones. Uh, I think they're... I don't actually remember the name of these, but uh, these were a limited run um, at first, and then he, or Tyler, released them um, again, just as a plain old release. And then we have Delta Squad, starting with Boss. We have Sev, Scorch, Fixer. And then we have the Camino Jump Pack Troopers. This one does not have its cloth, that one does. Um, and then we have just some sort of random uh, matchstick. This one is actually pretty special because I won this in the um, Clone Army Customs contest they had. It was a like photography contest basically, and I put all my collection at the time um, in front of a bunch of their old business cards, which I guess they liked enough to declare me the winner of this contest, and I was very happy to receive um, one of each of their Phase 1 helmets that they had just released, and uh, this figure. So, yeah, very cool. And um, then we have Phase 1 Realistic uh, Bakara, regular Bakara, Phase 2 variant, um, Galactic Marine, and then these two are just sort of random, uh, just the First Order prints. Um, you know, I made a First Order Trooper that looked like this, too, when I didn't have a lot of reference in... Um, when the Force Awakens uh, came out, and uh, you know, I like the body, it's just the helmet definitely could use some work. <laughs> um, I don't know if they're ever going to redesign their First Order helmets, I don't really know if there's a point because LEGO has made them so cheap and available, but uh, they're cool nonetheless to have, so yeah. Um, I guess next, uh, since we're almost through most of the regular legions we will start getting into more of the uh, specific like color groupings um, like the pink and some of the old republic along with uh, miscellaneous and arc trooper variants so yeah um, we'll do that next all right so here is pretty much we got the battlefront 2 figures old republic 327th uh, the pink misprints slash legion um, 
41st, um, and then just some miscellaneous. So starting up here, we have the Phase 2 Heavy from Battlefront 2, and then we have the Rocket Trooper, the uh, Grunt, I guess you could call it, um, just decided to group him in because he goes in the squad pack. Um, I am missing the Sniper, but I do have an extra Grunt, so I might later on, uh, once I get another set of macros, uh, make the Sniper. Um, and then, yeah, so we have the Old Republic Orange Build-A-Fig, uh, which is, this is technically not the Build-A-Fig, just because of the cloth, but, um, yeah, I just, I don't know why it took me that long to figure out that the Build-A-Figs, you can literally make the Old Republic Troopers from those. But, uh, yeah, we have the red variant here, um, and then we have Devis, uh, the 327th Jump Trooper, Bly, um, and then another Bly down here. Uh, phase 1 animated uh, yellow, which is kind of grouped them in. Uh, Devis Sniper uh, variant, and the Sniper variants you can all tell by the fin being the same color as the stripe going down the helmet. So, uh, yeah, then we have, this is actually like an interesting print because the um, helmet just in general is like a lot different than the regular um, Phase 2, and it took me a long time I don't know why, just to figure out that, like, his 327th prints always had this different helmet, and where the visor was wider and everything, and it was interesting, because um, I really like that uh, variant of the visor. Obviously, the new um, realistic one that just he just released is a lot better, so, uh, yeah, you know, it's it was cool for its time, I guess. And then up here, we have the misprint of the 501st Troopers. This is the pink variant. Uh, these were deeply discounted as well. Um, I sometime last in, well, I guess not last year, 2019, um, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Uh, <laughs> when you're buying CAC, it's all kind of a blur, but uh, I have five of these. Um, and uh, I believe the, yeah, there is no difference. I just have some of them have macros. I, I know I gave uh, this one for example, like a pauldron, um, just because, um, but yeah, they're all the same. Uh, very cool figures, though. Uh, pretty hard to find, I, I guess, uh, now. Then we have a uh, pink scuba monk. Uh, I really like the monk recolors. I know they don't necessarily sell well, because they were in stock for the longest time. Um, but yeah, then we have the uh, monk trooper pink uh, guy, whatever. <laughs> then the uh, 41st animated um, phase one. The realistic variant, um, the 41st Phase 2 Trooper. I have five of these behind the camera as well. Uh, Devis Sniper, um, and then we have Phase 2 Bell, or uh, Phil, that's Bell. Uh, then we have the Bomb Squad misprint. Uh, so I don't actually have the Bomb Squad uh, Phase 2 Trooper, but this is the misprint that was also deeply discounted, um, or heavily discounted. Um, so yeah, I think it was like 12 bucks. And then we have the CAC Trooper. I have two of these very cool figures. And I just, it's a very clean print. And then we have the Phase 1 animated uh, Grunt. So, yeah, that is the next group of figures. Uh, I guess next we will do the Art Troopers and some miscellaneous. And then we will finally get to the uh, vintage stuff. So, yeah, look forward to that. Alright, so here is all of the Arc Troopers plus a couple miscellaneous figures. These are the last of um, all of the figures uh, before we get into the old stuff that I have in my collection. So uh, starting off in the corner, here is Arc Ganch. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite helmets that CAC has produced. Um, I can't wait until if or if they decide to re redesign their Arc Trooper helmets, uh, I'm definitely going to get an Arc Ganch helmet. Um, to update the figure. And then uh, this guy over here is named Arc Zero. Um, this is also a very cool figure. Uh, they have a couple of these random Arc Troopers, uh, like Zero and Seven, um, that they just released. I, like, I'm not sure exactly why they just released these random colors, but the designs are cool, so it works. Um, uh, and then they have Arc or this is Arc Mixer, I believe, and that's Red Eye down there. 
Then we have draw, buzz. Uh, I definitely like, I, I don't know why. These are some of the first figures I got. Um, I really like the buzz uh, design. And then, oh, actually, I forgot to mention, I do have two of the Arc 7s. So, yeah, uh, Blitz, and then we have Arc Loco. And then we have, uh, I, I think that's 7. I don't know what I just said. Yeah, that's 0. I have two of Arc 0, uh, one Arc 7. And then, as I said, Red Eye. All right, so here is pretty much the last batch of figures before um, the... Uh, we get into some of the old, like older stuff, um, but this includes all of the ARC troopers along here and here, and then the miscellaneous is right there. Um, so yeah, uh, so here is ARC Ganch. This is definitely one of my favorite figures. Uh, I got this one pretty early on as well, I believe. And then we have ARC Zero over here. I have two of him. Um, yeah, so here's the other one. And then we have Arc Mixer, uh, Arc Draw, Buzz, Blitz, Loco. Uh, this again is also one of my favorite designs with the uh, symbol on the helmet and then the black detailing. And it's just an all around great figure with the cape. And then this one I believe is Arc 7. Um, and then this is Arc Red Eye to go with Mixer, um, Arc Impact. Um, he is actually missing his cape. Some of these are missing capes because I did steal some of them when I was still customizing a bunch back in the day, but um, easily replaceable. Uh, <laughs> Arc Warthog, Arc Hammer, Arc Colt, Arc Havoc, and then this. So these two are the same figure. They're just the Arc Plane. I have like five of these, I think, or total. I have five. Uh, there's three more right here. Um, I just got them in a lot, so, you know, just, <laughs> they were cheap, so I decided to pick them up. Um, so I have four of those without the cloth, and then I have one with the cloth. Um, very cool figure, just, I really like, uh, just the grunt look of it. Um, I do have the cloth for the rest of them. I could put on, but, uh, I just decided I'd show them separately. And then we have the Spec Ops Trooper, uh, Fordo, Phase 1 Realistic. Uh, 91st Reconnaissance Phase 2, Commander Keller, uh, we have a Plain Grunt Realistic variant here, very cool figure, and then we have, uh, this is just an ARF Trooper, I don't remember what group this is actually, but um, I, I know I just got it, <laughs> and then uh, here we have Commander Doom, so yeah, that is all of the pretty much current figures, I'd say. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. These are all of the current, like, non-discontinued figures that I have. Um, throughout this video, I mentioned I have duplicates of a lot of them, uh, which indeed is true. So I think next year, I'm going to start working on uh, getting, so getting rid of some of those duplicates to get... Uh, figures that I don't have to round out the collection pretty much. Um, but this is a very cool group here just because of all the different ARC troopers. And I really like just the visual appeal of this. So I might go and try and complete the ARC troopers first. But yeah, um, I guess we can finally move on to the last little bit of this video, which is going to talk about some of the older figures. All right, so here is the first batch of old, like, decal slash UV printed figures that I have, or just older prints in general, uh, that didn't fit in with the rest of the groupings. Um, so yeah, so over here on the left side, we have the 2003 Clone Wars uh, Gunner minifigure. Um, so this comes with a brick-built gun. I'm sure, I, I'm pretty sure I did a review of these four, um, but... Uh, they're very cool figures, and I'm really glad to have them. I just found them in a lot one day on eBay, uh, which was very fortunate. Um, but they all come with their original cloth, and this is, I'm pretty sure, the original brick-built gun that just folds over onto the front. I'm not going to do that now because I put an antenna on him. But, uh, yeah, it's just a really cool figure, um, and I'm really glad to have him. And then next we have the Red Arc Trooper. I guess you could call it Fordo. Um, I don't know if it was specifically designated that, um, 
but yeah, we have just the wraparound or the decals on the front and the back and then the legs and the original cloth and the pistols as well, along with the antenna and the helmets. And I believe these were all resin casted helmets at the time. And that's why you see that little lip on the bottom it was because they were 3D or not 3D printed. They were just uh, casted and uh, from an original design. And uh, so, yeah, we have these uh, blue arc troopers as well. They're pretty much the same. Uh, I think I, I definitely did a review on these. Um, as I said in the review, uh, the weapons are the only difference here. Um, just the same figure. So, yeah, uh, very cool. They come with the original cloth, though. So. So uh, next we have the 212th Airborne. Uh, this is another very cool figure with its original cloth as well. And just a very nice uh, decal in general. And I really, really like the helmet. Honestly, that just that helmet encapsulates early YouTube, I feel like, or early Lego YouTube, just because of um, just pizza movies and all the other stop motion makers uh, just that just came out of like 2005, 2006, 2007, or 2008, um, early on, and there were a lot of those open visor clones. So it's really cool just to see a variant of the Airborne um, with that visor, so. Yeah, and then we have animated uh, Phase 1 Cody. Um, this is also pretty much uh, just like the Airborne Trooper, I think. I think, actually, well, the, the arms are different. Um, the only thing that sucks about this figure is that the back decal is a little bit um, messed up, but it's not a huge deal just because I, even though I've yet to do it, all it takes is just a little bit of just pressure and then just uh, reapplying some sealant. So, yeah, uh, we'll see when I get around to doing that, I guess. But yeah, that is all of those. So those are all the decaled figures. These ones are special just because I pulled them out of the pack out of a package the other day. Um, but these are actually old prints. So here's the new newish uh, Commander Colt, and just this is just the old color variation, and you can tell um, just by the difference in the color that this is indeed an old print. It doesn't even have the line on the hip. Um, so just an interesting figure uh, with some slight differences. And uh, yeah, you can tell the, the color doesn't wrap around all the way either. So definitely an older figure. And then these are two different figures as well. So this is an older print of the Phase 2 Grunt. This is a newer print. You can tell the differences in the belts, just the overall thickness of all the lines. And uh, yeah, I think the arms are actually the same though. So definitely the arms got updated um, before the rest of the body. But uh, yeah, just an interesting figure to have, again, with the thickness of the lines. So yeah, that is all of the uh, ones outside of the case of other figures that I have, but here is everything else. Uh, so we have Arc Havoc down in the corner. Um, this is actually a combination. This is an old CAC, I believe, just wrong helmet. Um, and then we have the Flame Trooper over here with the UV printing. Uh, Commander or Captain Fordo over here in Phase 2 variant. Uh, just a very cool figure that I'm really glad to have. Um, and then up here we have the uh, Phase 2 501st. And then over here we have the... Uh, I think that's 9th uh, Battalion or something. I don't remember quite what battalion. It's UV printed, though, and then decal on the helmet, just like the 501st. And then these two I got um, from Brickbuilt Studios, I believe. Uh, these two are just the Gree and his trooper. They're fully... Uh, or they're UV solvent printing, and then the decal is on the helmet on both of them. So, yeah, very cool figures. I just don't take them out of their case because generally they're the more like I don't know, delicate of the bunch I guess you could say they've uh, seen some stuff as you can tell by Havoc's cloth but um yeah that is everything um I don't believe that there's anything else and I'm looking around my room as I say that and there isn't um so yeah uh like I said earlier the next 
year, I'm gonna look to probably just round out my collection more than just buff it up. And what I mean by that is instead of getting more and more duplicates just um, by random, um, I'm still gonna buy like CAC if I see it at a good deal on eBay, because that's a way that I've been able to acquire a lot of this, but a lot of this is also directly from their site. So um, it's definitely been a mix, but uh, I'm definitely not gonna um, try to include duplicates next year. I'm gonna try and trade some of those duplicates or buy some uh, or sell some of the duplicates to buy more uh, of the individual figures that I need just because while I have 250 uh, clones I think I only have actually like 130 different um, different ones of their current releases so it's definitely a number that I feel I need to just get up just because you know it's nice to have 13 501st troopers or something but there's really no use for it in someone that doesn't build mocks or uh, doesn't you know just do clone army videos every year i mean this is technically a clone army video but it should be more of like trying to get every figure so um yeah i mean we'll see how that goes uh hopefully it's i like follow through with that uh, i'm gonna try my best though this year just to do that um but yeah that is pretty much it uh please like comment and subscribe for more and this is goodbye and have a nice day